What is going on guys? Alex here back in today. Today I've got a video. A coin making video and this is not what I've been doing a lot of in my past coin making methods. I've been doing this for the past hour and I've made about a hundred K or more. I've made a lot of coins doing this in just like the past hour. I was at about I'd say 230,000 before this and I still have two collectibles selling for 25,000 each. So after taxes that would be about 40,000. So about yeah, right around 100k. So I want to show you guys how to do it. Now on each set of these puzzle things, puzzle sets, there's two collectibles in each one that are expensive. And the, the way you do it Matt Stafford. It's number 5 and number 10. The mo the expensive ones are always top and bottom from each other. They're not side by side. They're not across. They're not down and to the left or to the right. They're straight up and down from each other. So this one would be 5 and 10. And then for Reggie Bush, you have number 4 and number 9. Um, number 3, which is Josh Gordon, you have number 3 and number 8. Which I'm going to actually check just to make sure. See, number three on Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams, that sounds about right. It's number two and number seven on Jadeveon Clowney. It's number one and number five. Or number number one and number six, sorry. One and number six. And then on Byron Jones, it's number five and number ten. And if you really wanted to do the legend sets... I think it's number four and number nine. Yes, number four and number nine. Now, all you gotta do is cycle through every single one of these sets. So you'll go to Matt Stafford first. You'll go to piece number five. You will then go to buy now price. You don't see one up for a snipe. You back out. You go to number 10. If you don't see a snipe for number 10, you back out all the way you go right to Reggie Bush you go to number four you don't see a snipe you go to number nine and like I said they're right straight up and down from each other so it, it's pretty quick you can just do it like really 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 quick and also you never forget which one it is you just kinda gotta remember it at first if you remember one you remember both of them and I've been doing this for the last hour, and I've made about 100k worth of coins. And it's actually kind of ridiculous. And the hot one to snipe, which I've made more most of my coins on, is the Byron Jones uh, num piece number 5. Uh, that one seems to be put up for, like, little amounts of coins for cheaper. Like, 5,000 coins, and more often. I don't know why. People just put it up there. I've, I've sniped about, like, maybe, like, two or three of them. So Jadeveon Clowney it would be one number one and number six, which Jadeveon Clowney doesn't even have a collectible for buy it now for number one right at the current moment. Um, if you wanted to, you might be able to buy that and put it up for thirty k if you want to make a couple thousand coins, but I I'm not going to I'm not I'm not worried about it at all. But that one's been selling for about thirty two thousand thirty thousand past two hours something like that. So um, this collectible right here is actually mine. And my other one actually did sell. So that, oh, actually, no. That one's selling. And then this one's also mine. My other one for 22000 and a half sold. So that's pretty cool. Um, number 10. And yeah, you just keep doing this, guys. You just keep, you kind of get an emotion of just doing it over and over again. And it's really easy. You kind of, you kind of stop paying attention for a second. And it's kind of like muscle memory. And you don't even worry about it. Like you'll just be cycling through, not even paying attention, and you'll go back, do something else, and then you just keep doing this over and over and over again. You're bound to make coins. You're bound to find a snipe eventually. And luckily for me, I found a decent amount of them tonight. And I definitely think this is the best way to make coins at the moment. I can't find any better methods that I've been able to use that works. Um. I haven't checked any of the other um, sets for coin making methods. 
I was just trying this out, and I was actually just looking up the collectibles on the Byron Jones, and I wasn't really paying attention. And I saw one up for five thousand. I was like, wait, 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 this is a snipe. So I bought it, and then I just kept doing it over and over again, and I kept getting snipes. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna stop because what if there's more? And sure enough, there ended up being one or two more, and it was just like freaking awesome. Like, I can show you guys actually which ones I have sniped and which ones I have on the auction block at the moment. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Auctions and trades. So right now I have two on the auction block, the ones I showed you on the Byron Jones, but I sold that one for 20,000 coins, which I sniped for about 9,500. I have that one, which I bought for 5,000, and that one I bought for 3,000, and it was going for about 8,000, so I put it up for that that much. And so I've sniped a decent amount. I've sniped about, looks like five of them so far. I can show you guys on here my bids. Um, 5,000, that was the one I sniped. Put up for 28,000 and it sold. That one's the one for 3,000. It sold it for 7,500. Bought the one for 5,000. And I bought the one for 9,500. And I bought this one up here. This is one for 10,000. And it's on the auction block for about 25,000, I think. So, definitely a good way to make coins. I mean, I've done this in like an hour. And I have just gained amazing. There it is, right there. 22,000. So I sold it for 25,000. So that's pretty cool. That might have been the one that I was still up there. Hold on. Was that the one that. Yep, the one that I was still up there just sold. So I still have one up for, for 25000 and I've made over 100 k So I've made almost 125 k So guys, I really, really suggest this method, and I know I'm giving away my method, but it's to help you guys and people that don't know how to make coins or, or are struggling to make coins and don't have the money to buy packs or don't have the time to play as much as most people to do solos so this is definitely the best way in my opinion to make coins so i hope you guys enjoyed and i really want you to use this method i'm telling you it works and i was hoping that i could show you but i do have some clips i can i'm gonna add at the end of the video to show you that it does work some of the ones that i did snipe earlier i did get them on uh i did record them so don't worry about it i'll put those at the end of the video but other than that I'm going to go through here one more time and just show you guys, see if they can find one snipe. Because a live snipe would be better than just putting snipes that I got earlier. Um, definitely look up those Josh Gordon ones because I've seen I've seen snipes for Josh Gordon a couple times. I didn't get them, but not today. I haven't seen any today, but I definitely see them a lot. i just always a little too late to get them. So... And if you do snipe some of the collectibles and you want to do the players, the actual set for the players, go ahead. I mean, if you can get the other collectible for cheap or you already have the collectible or you just want that player, um, just do it. Unless it's like Byron Jones or Leonard Williams, you can sell the collectibles for more than you can actually buy him for. So I suggest selling the collectibles and just buying him because one of the collectibles costs a 95% of his actual cost. So... I definitely suggest. Didn't my other one sell? Hold on. No, that one didn't sell. I wonder. I wonder why I have two messages. Oh well. Anyway, so I went through them all. Didn't find any. But hope you guys enjoyed. And like I said, I'll put the rest of them at the end of the video to show that it works. And other than that, guys, I'm out.